Okay, folks, um, I'm back again, giving you another update. Um, those of you who have been watching know that on last um, Monday, we went on, uh, after finishing our 21-day no meat, um, you know, challenge, last Monday we went on um, another challenge for 28 days, which will take us right to the end of um, um, March, March 31st, was... Um, I'm not going to say no sugar, a limited sugar diet. And here's the deal with the sugar. Um, right now, I have sugar in three different categories. There are the sweet sugars, um, which, of course, you know, your candies, cakes, pies, sweet juices, fruit juices, sodas, blah, blah, blah. All the known the stuff that's sweet. So that's gone. And we've eliminated that. And actually, we started eliminating that back when we were doing our meat fast. Uh, the second category of sugar would be, I call them the unsweet um, sugars, which are, you know, white rices, white potatoes, the white stuff, the breads, the pastas. So, um, I was experimenting with that. Um, in this first week, it's been, this is day eight, um, only a little, a limited amount, the only white, you know, I had, you know, I do the impo Impossible Burgers, and I think maybe once or twice I had, uh, I didn't have access to my keto bread, so I did the white bread, you know, burger bun, and I think I had some soup with a little bit of white potato chunks in it or something like that. Other than that, been pretty good with the whites, no rices and things of that nature. Um, the third category of sugar, of course, is going to be, I call them your hidden sugars. And like I said, the food manufacturers, they hide sugar in everything. So, yes, there's sugar in ketchup, sugar in salad dressings, um, even tomato sauce that you, you know, if you like Italian food, you know, most of the tomato sauces are lined with sugars. And, I mean, the hidden sugars. Those we're going to have to work on. Um... I'm learning more about them, and this is a learning process, and um, I'm not doing the, uh, called the cold turkey on all sugars because, again, sugar is one of the most addic uh, addicted substances, and the food manufacturers know that, so they put it in everywhere so we can be addicted, so we can all, you know, go back to those foods consciously or unconsciously. So so it's, it's a bigger job um, to do that, but, again... I guess probably the biggest announcement that I could make since last Monday is that, wow, in this week, in this seven-day time, I, this morning I weighed myself, and I've lost a whopping seven, I want to say seven and a half, eight pounds in the seven days. And to contrast that to the meat, the 21 days, you know, refraining from meat, I'm... Um, maybe three pounds, I noticed. So it was clear to me that meat aren't the the real factor um, in the weight loss. Of course, if you eat a lot of fatty type stuff, that might um, be a factor. But the main culprit here is sugar and all in all of its different forms, from the sweets to the unsweet sugars and, the, you know, the starches, what we call the starches, as well as, um, again, those hidden sugars. So yeah, so that was very encouraging to get that kind of uh, um, weight loss in, in week one. And um, and of course, you know, we added the gym to the schedule as well. Um, very minimum. <laughs> just doing that three times a week. Nothing rigorous yet. Just got to get started. But um, yeah, um, so that's, that. Um, we're again taking this to the end of the month. And yeah. Um, um, what else was there? Um, I'm like I'm getting something. But that's the mainstay, that, that you know, staying away from the sweet. And that's another thing, too. Um, I'm doing research. Um, oh, man, I'm just reading articles. Um, there's so many great, um, um, I guess you call it influencers on YouTube. And uh, I talked about Dr. Bobby um, Price, who's here in Atlanta. There's um, Robert, Dr. Robert um, Lustig. Oh, another one. I cannot call her name because it's it's a foreign name, and they they refer to her as a glucose goddess. So we've been just looking at all of these um, influences, and you know, 
kind of cherry picking information from film and applying just a world of knowledge. Um, as one influencer said, you almost have to become your own nutritionist to um, survive because we have a food industry. And I, I might have said this before, if you think about it, there's the food industry, there's the whole medical doctor industry, and there's what we call big pharma. And you know, you know, they're kind of all in cahoots, if you will, with each other. I mean, the food industry gets you sick, you go to the doctor, and, what, and most doctors do what? They give you some, they want to put you on something. And Big Pharma would have us be on medications for the rest of our lives. I mean, and it's a trillion dollar industry. And so really starting to become awake to that knowledge and really seeing the, the, the toll that is taken on, on our community in particular. When you go out to the restaurants, you know, um, you know, the obesity in our community is just rampant. We've never had this levels and in the younger folk as well. You know, we're in a time now where, you know, uh, the younger folk tend to be bigger than their parents a lot of times when we go out there and see that. And it's because of how the food industry has changed since the 19, around, around the 1980s. High fructose corn syrup is everything. It's in everywhere. So... You know, educating ourselves on on that. You know, I always think of the Bible verse that says, you know, my people perish for what? Lack of knowledge. And that's what they depend upon, our lack of knowledge in all of these areas. In nutrition, what we should eat and what she shouldn't eat, and hiding things, like I said, in the foods. So we're on that quest, and, you know, we just want to share as much as we can. Particularly, like I said, the, you know, we're we're transitioning in this stuff even in our age because we want to you know live out our years and as best help we want not just quantity of years we want quality of years and that's going to come down to our health so we are um you know endeavoring on that and we just you know i always say each one teach one so whatever we can learn and impart we're going to try to do that and help encourage others as well so thank you again for your prayers and support, and we'll be reporting back to you. And Wendy and I may come on a little later because you know I always like to include her. I always say she's you know she's embarking upon this experience with me as well too, and we are accountable to each other. And sometimes I will say you gonna eat that, or she'll say you know you know that's not you know that's not on our list. So yeah, so it's a, it's a beautiful thing, and um, so we may come on a little later. Okay, thank you for your attention and and support.